Hello guys, welcome to another Technical Effects YouTube video. Now in this YouTube video, I'm gonna be giving you an insight into market structure. Now market structure and price action are the base of the markets. Well anyway, for me and us here at Technical Effects. I talk a lot about market structure on all social platforms. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an insight into market structure. Okay guys, so welcome um, to this um, video lesson where we're going to be taking a look guys at um, some basic principles of the market structure. Um, as you guys know and I mentioned in the intro here at Technical Effects, we focus a lot on the structure of the market. Okay, But we first of all must understand some of the basics. Um, so for example guys, here we have... Um, a downtrend okay so this is overall how a downtrend moves now I'm just going to quickly um, highlight these um, so we have lower low lower lows right here um, and we also have lower highs okay so in a downtrend guys the market forms lower highs and lower lows so the market comes in lower low pushes to the upside this high is lower than this high which forms a lower high the market then pushes to the downside creates a lower low. Why is it a lower low? Because this low is lower than this low, which means it's a new lower low. So if I just copy and paste that and just drag it down, we can then see that that there is a lower low. The market pulls back. What happens? This right here is a lower high. Why? Because this high is lower than this high, which gives us the lower high. Okay, so downtrends flow like this. Um, and uptrends flow like this, okay? Um, why? Well, this means right here is a higher high. So why is it a higher high? Um, this high is higher than the previous high, creating a higher high. Um, we then pull back, and then this low is higher than the previous low, which gives us a HL, which is the higher low. The market then pushes to the upside, forms a new high. This high is higher than this high, which gives us a new higher high. Okay, market pulls back, gives us a new low, but this low is higher than this low, which clearly gives us a new higher low. Okay, so this there, guys, is pretty simple, pretty basics um, of market structure, trending movement um, of exactly how they work. Okay, so we've got lower highs, lower lows within the downtrend, and we have higher highs and higher lows within an uptrend. Now, markets aren't always, guys, going to just form um, these very smoothly um, and make it that easy for you. Okay, they're not always just going to make it very, very easy, um, especially taking a look at the monthly time frame then here. Um, we're on Euro USD. Now, we can see um, there's very limited... Um, market structure that we do see. We do see pullbacks, um, but within these moves, so within this large move right here, okay, we do see pullbacks, okay? There's actually trends within this trend. So within this uptrend, there is daily downtrends. There's four hour downtrends. There's one hour downtrends within this uptrend, which is where the structure in structure comes from, okay? Um, so if we take this down into the weekly time frame and we just zoom out, um, this is the same area. You can pretty much see now that we have more pullbacks. Okay, so we're now starting to see some structure in the market. Okay, um, what else can we do? We can see on the daily time frame if we go down, we start to see even more structure in the market. Okay, um, but this is where it becomes and gets a bit more interesting. Okay, because structure loves to re um loves to respect structure okay um now it takes a while guys to get used to structure okay but um with time patience persist persistence you can get used to um used to the structure now structure um not always um but very often structure retests structure not always okay and if it doesn't it doesn't 
okay? But more so than not, guys, structure will retest structure, okay? Now, I'm just taking this down to the four hour time frame because it's time frames that most people um, trade from. Okay, now you may look at this as purely just support and resistance, but this to me isn't support and resistance. Support and resistance is um, is more horizontal lines going in a lot more back in history, um, and you're getting them significant rejection points. Okay, this is just the structure respecting structure. Okay. So let's take a look at what I mean. So we can see here, guys, lower highs and lower lows. Okay, market pulls back, new lower high, continues to the downside, pulls back once again. Um, but what we're interested in is we're interested in the fact that the structure retests structure. Structure pulls back and retests structure. Okay, we can see this happens over and over again. Structure here right here, retests structure over and over again. Not every time, not always to the pinpoint either, okay? It may be um, easier if we just drew a zone, okay? Support and resistance isn't an exact area, okay? Trend lines aren't an exact area, they're a zone, okay? So that's very important that you understand as well. But when you start to take a look after this video at your markets and you start to then take a look down into the structure and structure retesting structure, you will start to see that structure is the base of the market. Okay, so just through here, you can see structure points as a bottom. What happens? Breaks through, price reacts to this area as structure again. Okay, structure retesting structure okay we can see this um it happens long term it happens short term you can see this right across here structure retest structure okay now how you spot the areas of entry and signals of trades is completely different to just spotting areas of structure retesting structure trust me that is completely different right now all that we're going through is just structure okay so you can see here structure bottom structure retested structure retested again one two structure retested bring this down let's drag this along what happened structure retested structure okay bring this along what happened structure was retested we can drag this along structure was retested we can drag this up here structure was retested okay even smaller ones structure was retested okay over and over again structure bottom structure retested Okay, guys, I'm giving this away to you. Okay, I'm just giving it. Structure breaks out, retests the structure. Over and over again. Structure retests structure. How many times over and over again does the market structure retest structure? And then what happens right here? Structure is retested right here. Guys, it is non-stop just retested. Now, it will take time for your eyes to get used to how to actually spot structure. But when you start to go deeper into the markets and you start to see the structure, retesting the structure, it happens over and over again. Um, in all markets, guys, it happens in all markets, okay? It's, it's, keep it as simple. This is, this is a blank chart. Right here, guys, we're looking at a blank chart, okay? We have structure right here. Let's look right, okay? Structure, structure retested this structure. Structure again was retested just here. Yes, the market didn't make it back to structure. Well, if you want it to happen 100% of the time, then you're dreaming, okay? You're actually dreaming. Um, it's not gonna happen every time. Structure, retest structure. Remember, it's a zone, okay? Guys, this happens over and over again, and I'm just going to pull up another pair randomly. Um, let's just take a look at GB Pound USD. Let's just go into this, okay? Let's just take a look at some structure. Um, we're just taking a look now. Again, guys, it takes time to spot it, 
okay um but as you can see look at that structure retested again as structure it doesn't matter how big or small but structure bottom structure retested okay not to the pinpoint and as i mentioned previously guys it won't always be to the pinpoint if you want the market to be pinpoint every time then again you're dreaming it doesn't happen you need to understand structure retested structure the structure and the market flow is so so important okay you can see here guys right through here yes this market structure wasn't retested but it's not going to happen every time but yet hold on if we just come down here we can see that the structure abided by and retested previous structure okay that is all that the market is doing guys the market's just flowing with structure after structure like just through here look structure is retested okay what happens here structure is retested even the smaller that you go the structure continues to be retested okay now guys the reason i'm giving you this is because i want you to understand how much more simple you can make your trading without having to overcomplicate it okay structure retesting structure over and over again okay so this guys is pretty much just an insight into how how i look at the markets why i'm always going on about structure Okay, you can you could, we could take a look at this on the daily time frame. Let's just completely reset this. Let's just completely delete all of this, okay? Um, because of it doesn't just happen on the one time frame. Right through here. Remember, guys, it's a zone, okay? Structure, retested by structure. If you understand price action as well, you will understand when you start to see the structure retesting structure, how it actually forms the price action at them areas as well. Okay, and then you'll start to see, wow, my trading opportunities. Okay, and then you'll start to be thanking technical effects for this very, very simple structure retesting structure over and over again. I'm just going to take this into one more market, guys. Let's just take a look at AUD USD. Um, it's nicer when the market it's nicer when the market is obviously showing some nice trending movement. If the market's choppy, then to be honest with you guys, step away from the market, okay? Structure, retest structure. Right here. Structure, retest structure. Right through here. Structure, retesting structure. Structure, retesting structure. Now guys, as I said, it's not going to happen every single time. Never every single time, and it's never going to be exact pinpoint rejections. Okay, but this is what it comes with and this is what you need to go through and spend time in the charts learning. You need to go through and spend the hours in the charts to learn the structure. Okay, just through here guys. This is a small bit of structure but gets broken and then it gets revisited once again. You can also drag this along even more and see that structure was actually retested once again. Okay. So guys, this is pretty much what I'm going to give you um, with, mar with market structure. The market overall does flow with lower highs and lower lows. But go back through the markets that you trade. Take a look at how this structure gets retested over and over again. Okay, This isn't a strategy um, that you're going to be able to just go away and trade from. Um, this is just an insight into the structure that I'm always going on about on social. Okay, always on social, um, the structure is the base of the market. And how can it not be? It's the flow of the market. The, the market structure is purely and simply the flow of the market. Just look, I've zoomed out and you can now start to see, guys, how the market respects structure. Okay, so I hope this um, video has given you guys a nice insight into exactly what I mean by look at the structure and structure within structure. Okay over and over again okay so guys hope you've enjoyed this video um make sure to like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next video